The hundreds of pages Siobhan O'Connor uncovered included personnel files and memos. They revealed that for years, Bishop Malone allowed priests accused of sexual assault, such as statutory rape and groping, to stay on the job. I love my church, I love our diocese, and I, I loved him. I, I genuinely did, as my bishop and as my boss. So why are you doing this? The reality of what I saw really left me with no other option because at the end of my life, I'm not going to answer to Bishop Malone. I'm going to answer to God. At first, she took pictures with her phone. Then she used the copy machine here at the bishop's offices. The documents provided an extraordinary window into how the diocese handled abuse. And nobody caught on to what you were doing? No, they didn't. I was always working with paper, and I was always there. So it wasn't as though I had to ask for keys or take them from someone's desk. Her decision to act was influenced by the phone calls she fielded from dozens of people who said they had been abused. O'Connor says she tried to get the bishop to be more responsive to them. He would tell her it's not her concern. She said by last summer, she was, in her words, morally allergic to what she witnessed. Just before O'Connor quit her job in August, she anonymously leaked the church documents to a reporter at Buffalo television station WKBW. There was no other way you saw to handle this? Not with any expediency, no. I mean, I, I did hope and pray that a grand jury would eventually be convened and that there would be hopefully an independent investigation, but I felt that there could be other victims between now and then, and I, I couldn't have that on my conscience if there was a way to prevent that.